Akureyri, regionally also, Akire, is a town in northern Iceland. It is Iceland's fourth largest municipality, after Reykjavik, Hofnerfjordur, and Kopavogur, and the largest town outside Iceland's more populated southwest corner. Nicknamed the capital of North Iceland, Akureyri is an important port and fishing center. The area where Akureyri is located was settled in the 9th century, but did not receive a municipal charter until 1786. Allied units were based in the town during World War II. Further growth occurred after the war as the Icelandic population increasingly moved to urban areas. The area has a relatively mild climate because of geographical factors, and the town's ice-free harbour has played a significant role in its history. Akureyri in the late 19th century the Norse Viking Helgi Magri Vindarsson originally settled the area in the 9th century. The first mention of Akureyri is in court records from 1562, when a woman was sentenced there for adultery. In the 17th century, Danish merchants based their camps at the current site of Akureyri, which was one of the numerous spits of land in Polorin. The main reasons for choosing this spot for trading operations were the outstanding natural harbour and the fertility of the area. The merchants did not live at Akureyri year-round, but returned home in the winter. Permanent settlement at Akureyri started in 1778, and eight years later, the town was granted its municipal charter by the King of Denmark along with five other towns in Iceland. The king hoped to improve the living conditions of Icelanders by this action, because at the time, Iceland had never had urban areas. As far as the king was concerned, Akureyri was unsuccessful, because it did not grow from its population of 12. It lost its municipal status in 1836, but regained it in 1862. From then on, Akureyri grew because of the excellent port conditions and perhaps more because of the productive agricultural region around it. Agricultural products became an important sector of the economy. Akureyri, with Lefarfjall behind, viewed from the eastern shore of Eyjafjörður, morning November 2007 during World War II, Akureyri was one of three air bases used by the Norwegian British NO. 330 Squadron Rof. The squadron, which was formed on April 25, 1941, flew Northrop N3 petabytes bombers, A flight was based at RAF Reykjavik, B flight at Akureyri and C flight at Butterary. On December 1, 1940, A and B flights ceased operating from Norwegian bases, but C flight continued to fly Northrop N3 PBS from Akureyri until April 5, 1943. No. 330 Squadron Renault also operated Catalina flying boats from Akureyri, which protected convoys between the United States, the United Kingdom, and Murmansk in northern Russia from attack by German submarines. In the 20th century, Iceland experienced an exodus from the countryside to the towns. Commerce and service industries grew to be the primary employers in Akureyri in the 1990s. John Sveinsen, a popular author of children's books, was born in Akureyri and died in 1944. In the early 21st century, fishing industries have become more important in Akureyri as two of the major fishing companies of Iceland have become a more important source of revenue and are expected to grow further in coming years. The University of Akureyri was founded in 1987 and is growing rapidly. Since 2004, the former municipality of Raisi, an island 35 kilometers to the north, has been a part of Akureyri. Raisi, which has a population of 210, is the second largest island off Iceland and is a site for pet and livestock quarantine. The settlement was previously the site of fishing processing. The town is located on the southern part of the island. The northern part consists of privately owned land that requires passes to enter. Aerial panorama of Akureyri, taken in June 2017 The Glare River Akureyri is located at 65 degrees 41 and 18 degrees 06 W, Homsat we see tune. 683 degrees north 18. 100 degrees W, 65. 683, minus 18. 100 and positioned on the west side of the inland end of the fjord Eyjafjörður. It is surrounded by mountains, the highest being Strita, 10 km to the west, and Curling, at the head of Glaradalur, 15 km to the southwest. It has a narrow coastal strip of flat land, inland is a steep but low hill. In earlier times, a few spits of land jutted from the narrow coast, but much land has since been reclaimed from the sea. So that today the coastline is more even except for the largest spit, Aderi, which was formed by the river Glera, which runs through the town. The name of the town is possibly derived from the name of a field that may have been situated near some of the shelter locations by the river. 
The body of sea between Adairi and the end of the fjord is known as Polar and, and is known for calm winds and a good natural harbour. Akareri today is centred on Ratha stored near the northwest corner of Polaran. The districts of Akareri are, in Burr, the oldest part of town on the strip of land between the hill and Polaran south of the central area, Brecon, on top of the hill, Adairi on the peninsula of the same name, and Glerarfurfi on the north bank of the Glera. Because of the town's position at the head of a long fjord surrounded by high mountains, the climate is more typically inland than coastal. With greater variations in temperature than in many other inhabited parts of Iceland. However, the mountains shield the town from strong winds. The relatively warm climate allows the botanical gardens to flourish without need of a greenhouse. The area around Akareri has one of the warmest climates in Iceland, even though it is only 100 km from the Arctic Circle. Akareri has either the rare dry summer subarctic climate if the 0 degrees Celsius isotherm is used, or the very rare cold summer Mediterranean climate if the minus 3 degrees Celsius isotherm is used, with cold though not severe winters and mild summers. The snow cover starts forming in late October and melts in April, yet snow can lie on the mountain peaks around Akareri for the whole year. Akareri is a very cloudy town, averaging only 1,029 sunshine hours annually with barely any sunshine between November and February. But precipitation is much lower than in southern Iceland because the prevailing winds are from the south, it is as little as a fifth as much as in Vik e Myrdal. On January 1, 2015, Akareri had a population of 18,191, of whom 9,011 were males and 9,180 were females. About 3% of the population are foreign citizens, from 53 different countries. In 2014, there were 229 births and 118 deaths in Akureyri. Immigration in 2014 was 1,097 individuals, while emigration was 1,122 residents. Population growth in 2014 was therefore 0. 0.5%. The population in 1910 was 2,239, increasing to 7,711 in 1950 and 16,756 in 2005. Crime statistics have been published by the Iceland National Police for 2000. Akureyri had a reported 726 non-traffic offences per 10,000 population compared with a national average of 892, while 2,891 traffic offences per 10,000 population were recorded compared with a national average of 2,397. Akureyri has five police officers on call. Incidents have occurred where insufficient police officers were on duty to respond to criminal activity in progress, as confirmed by the mayor. However, Akureyri, and Iceland in general, has one of the lowest crime rates in the world. Cruise ship in the harbour The fishing industry has historically been a large and important part of the local economy. In recent years, other industries and business services have also begun. Higher education is also a growing sector in the local economy. About 20% of the workforce is in the service industry. Two of the five largest fishing companies in Iceland are headquartered in Akureyri, partly because of the ice report. Other large companies in Akureyri include Svergi, Northam Joke, Brim HF, and Vafilfell, the largest brewery in Iceland. Shukras Akureyrar is a major employer in the area and is one of two major hospitals in Iceland. Corporations pay a tax rate of 18% to the national government, which is one of the lowest in the world. No additional local corporate taxes are levied. Property tax, at 1.99%, accounts for most of the tax base. A local government deficit of 1 billion Icelandic kroner was anticipated in 2009, prompting a cut in salaries of the mayor, town councillors, and committee members by 10% and increases in local taxes and property taxes. Litharfjall ski slopes just west of the town Akureyri has a robust cultural scene, with several bars and reputable restaurants. The Icelandic folk dance ensemble Vefaren comes from Akureyri. Folk culture, in general, is more prevalent in Akureyri than in Reykjavik. During the summer, several festivals are held in Akureyri and the surrounding area. One example is the medieval festival held every summer at Gasser. The Akureyri International Music Festival, a concert series by bands, was held for the fourth time in 2009. The town has one of the largest libraries in the country. The Vikudagur newspaper is published in Akureyri. The Icelandic National Broadcasting Service operates two radio channels nationwide. The several radio stations in Akureyri include FM Akureyri and Voice FM 98. 7. Several television stations can be watched in Akureyri. N4 is a station whose studios are located in Akureyri. 
initially a local channel, it began to broadcast nationwide in 2008. The town center of Akureyri sites that have been cited as areas of interest include various museums, churches, and the botanical gardens. Local museums include the Minjasafnath A. Akureyri, Listasafnath A. Akureyri, Nanas. Davishus, Akureyri Museum of Industry, a motorcycle museum, and Flugsaf Nieslands. The most northerly 18-hole golf course in the world is in the town. The Natura Free Thistoff na North Orleans was opened in 1957 and is in the grounds of the Akureyri Botanical Garden. The botanical gardens are located in Spitalavegar. Large churches include the Akureyrarkirkja and Glerarkirkja. Sunlock Akureyrar is a swimming pool in Akureyri. New residential and commercial growth has required an extension of electricity and water distribution, as well as new water drilling. Much of the town is heated geothermally. Akureyri is governed by a town council, directly elected by those over 18 with registered domicile in the town. The council has 11 members, who are elected for four-year terms. The mayor is appointed by the council, usually one of the council members is chosen, but they may also appoint a mayor who is not a member of the council. The last elections to the town council were held on May 31, 2014. The People's List, which won an outright majority in 2010, and the Town List merged into L List, the Town List of Akureyri. They had seven representatives together, but now have only two, 18. 8%. The Independence Party received the most votes, three seats in the council, 25. 8%, instead of only one previously. Social Democratic Alliance and Progressive Party each got two seats instead of the previous one each. Left Green Movement and Bright Future each got one seat. L List, Social Democratic Alliance, and the Progressive Party formed a new majority in the council. The new majority decided that Eric or Bjorn Bjorgvinson, mayor of Akureyri since 2010, would continue to serve as mayor. Akureyri is twinned with, in 2007, a friendship and fisheries agreement was signed with Grimsby, United Kingdom, which according to ICE News, might lead to a twin cities designation in the future. The old building of Akureyri Junior College There are two high schools in Akureyri, one of them being the second oldest in Iceland. The Mentaskal in A. Akureyri is a junior college in Akureyri and so is the Verkman Taskal in A. Akureyri. The University of Akureyri was founded in 1987. There are three faculties or colleges, the Faculty of Business and Science, Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences and Faculty of Health Sciences. The university offers master's degrees in several subjects. Aerial view of the Fjord Akureyri Airport, one of four international airports in Iceland and the only international airport in the north of the country was constructed in 1955 replacing the airstrip at Melgertismeller further to the south. The current airport is mostly used for domestic flights, with seasonal scheduled international flights and flights to Nurlera to not in Greenland throughout the whole year. Iceland Air flies several times a day to Reykjavik, and there are also domestic flights to Grimsey and to Vopnifjörður and Thursu FN. In 2007, Akureyri Airport had a passenger traffic level of 221,219,778 aircraft movements. The port of Akureyri is vital to the town, which largely bases its livelihood on fisheries. It is the site of large fish processing plants and has docking facilities for trawlers. It is also important for freight handling and for tourism, as cruise ships stop in Akureyri during the summer months. The ice-free nature of the port has been important in the town's establishment. SBA Northerleith is an Akureyri based company that provides a long distance bus service to the town. Local bus services within Akureyri are provided by the SVA, which does not charge fares. The cessation of fares in 2008 resulted in an increase of 130% in passenger numbers compared to the previous year when fares were charged. Route 1 or the Ring Road connects the town with the other parts of the country, including Reykjavik, which is 390 kilometers away. The road is mostly one lane in each direction, but is paved and open year-round. There are no paved roads from Akureyri to the unpopulated interior of the island. However, the F821 Mountain Road is open in summer, it climbs southwards from Akureyri and connects with the F26 Mountain Road across the interior to the SW of the country. Parking in the central area requires use of a parking disc indicating the time that parking has commenced. Parking is free but is limited in certain areas to a maximum period ranging from 15 minutes to 2 hours. The Vathla Heidi Tunnel, opened for traffic in December 2018, reduced the road distance from Akureyri to Mevatan Lake by 16 kilometers. It ran over budget and was one of Iceland's most expensive tunnel projects, 
encountering political and engineering difficulties. The total project cost is estimated to be between ISK 16-17 billion reaching double the initially estimated 8 Icelandic kroner. 7 billion. Akureyri has been heated geothermally since the late 1970s. Starting in 1928, there were unsuccessful attempts to develop geothermal energy. During this period, electricity and oil were used for heating. Construction of a geothermal distribution system was begun in 1976 after the discovery of a commercially viable source in 1975. Distribution was widespread by 1979. The Lagoland field near Akureyri was the first geothermal source commercially developed. The tree charnier field followed. To obtain sufficient water flow, additional fields were developed at Botten in 1980, Glerard Alert 2 km SW of the town in 1981, and Thelemort 10 km north of the town in 1992. Water temperature is generally 65 to 75 degrees Celsius but can drop to 45 degrees Celsius during hot summer days. The cost of geothermal production is, at 32 mil slash kWh, higher than the Icelandic national average of 11, but slightly less than the cost of imported heating oil. There is diminishing excess capacity but there are known and untapped resources near the town. Furthermore, there have been proposals to re-inject water to extend the life of the sources. Natspurnaflag Akarar and Thor Akarari are the two biggest multi-sport clubs in the town. They field teams in several sports, such as basketball, football and handball. The most successful football team of late in the town has been Thor slash Ka, a joint women's team from Ka and Thor. Since 2008, it has finished in the top four in the top tier Ervils Dield Kvena, winning the national championship in 2012 and 2017. The clubs also have two men's football teams under their own names. The clubs field a joint team in women's handball, Ka slash Thor. They fielded a joint men's team under the name Akarari Handball Tay Flag from 2016 to 2017 before Ka broke off from the cooperation and fielded a separate team in 2017 to 2018. In basketball, Thor fields both men's and women's team. Its women's team has won the national championship three times, in 1969, 1971 and 1976. The town's ice hockey team, Skukhaflag Akarerar, is the most successful team in the history of the Icelandic Hockey League, with 20 championships from 1992 to 2018. The Akureyri Golf Club is the second oldest golf club in Iceland behind the Reykjavik Golf Club. It was established in 1935 and is the annual location of the Arctic Open held each summer solstice. The town is also the birthplace of Icelandic footballers Birkir Bjarnason and Aaron Gunnarsson, as well as mixed martial arts fighter Gunnar Nelson. Thanks for watching.